Hello, I'm Charles Killeen and I'm the Head of the School of English in Trinity College Dublin. And this short presentation is to introduce you to, firstly, the reasons why you might choose to study English literature at university level, and secondly, the kind of degree that we offer here in Trinity. So I want to talk briefly first about what is probably the most important questions that anyone's thinking of when they're trying to figure out what they want to do with themselves when they go to university. The question isn't just really what you want to study, but why you want to study it. And the reason to study some subjects seems relatively straightforward. If you want to become an engineer, you have to study engineering. If you want to become a doctor, you need to study medicine. Other subjects and other disciplines don't seem to have such a straightforward line between study and a career. And English literature is one of those disciplines. The first thing to say about English, though, is that it has always been an extremely popular subject. In fact, it is one of the most popular subjects with students at higher level across the world, and has been since it was first introduced in the 19th century. It's one of the few degree courses that were created because students demanded that it should exist. So the popularity of English literature is obvious. Now, this popularity probably tells us something important about the subject. English literature appeals to a wide variety of people. And it's also important to tell you that those who study it self-report a high degree of satisfaction and a deep love of the subject. And I would put the sheer love of reading, thinking, and talking about and debating literature as the main reason to do a degree in it. If you choose to come to Trinity College, you're going to spend four years of your life with a subject. You, it's important that you choose something that you really like, you really love, because you're stuck with it for those four years. Reading is one of the things people choose to do for pleasure. In an English literature degree, the thing that you do for pleasure becomes the object of study, it becomes part of what you come to read in a much more intellectually stimulated and focused way. You come to be able to see the books that you read and like as part of a wider system a much more complicated system. So you'll be introduced to genres, traditions, periods, authors, critics, sometimes you've never that you've never heard of before, and many of them will stay with you for the rest of your life. So I think that's quite a good reason to study English literature in itself. That said, there are plenty of other reasons to make this choice. The most obvious one is the fact that we are all surrounded all the time by words. We are shaped by language as a species. It's one of the things that makes us human beings, and it's basic to the way that we live and be with each other. The way we think depends on the language that we have, and the limitations of our thinking um, depends on our language skills. So studying the use of language and its significance is both important and very exciting. Particular uses of language can change everything. And we see evidence of that, not only in the obvious impact of books on the history of the world, but in our everyday lives, in the communication revolution that we're all living through. It's hard to argue, I think, that language does not matter all that much, and therefore that it isn't important to study it. A course in English literature brings you right into questions about communication, about meaning, about identity, culture, the way we lived in the past, the way we live now, and how we might live in the future. One thing that the study of English literature will also bring you in contact with is the fact that we don't all agree with each other. This, I think, is obvious enough in the world we live in, but so much of that disagreement uh, takes place in quite a negative way. A degree in English literature is about genuine debate, about really listening to other people, about uh, real discussions and disagreements, but also about sociability, about meeting with your peers, understanding your peers and getting to know them on an individual basis, actually listening to others and understanding other points of view. And part of this understanding comes from reading material that comes from a different historical period than our own. Because hearing voices from the past can often put a completely different perspective on ideas and uh, issues that are still of concern to us now. So if you like a good discussion, that's what you're going to get in an English literature degree. 
our teaching emphasizes very small group classes where students can voice their own opinions and get to know their lecturers and their peers individually and feel safe to express their own opinions about the text that they'll be reading. So discussion and debate are central to English literature. Uh, while doing a degree in English will of course require you to spend quite a lot of time alone reading books in a library by yourself, you will also be encouraged to really meet with and discuss with uh, your peers in classroom to learn from the opinion of others. So these I think are really good reasons to study English literature at university level. The sheer enjoyment of the sub subject, the great love that people have for reading. Because human beings are shaped by language, it's important that we understand how language works and how we've used it in the past and how we use it in the present. And because the discipline of English is all about disagreement as well as about consensus. And this helps us to understand how others can see the world in different ways. In an English literature degree, you learn from the past in the present for the future, as Cathy Shaw has said. Now, of course, while we all hope that a degree in English literature will be, as I said, life enhancing, there is always the looming question of how will this get you a career at the end of it? The good news is that graduates in courses of English literature are among the most employable people on the planet. The transferability and relevance of the skills that you acquire in an English degree make our graduates enormously attractive to employers. And English graduates turn up in an extraordinary number of places, many of them quite unexpected. From Fortune 500 companies to the publishing industry, from law to education to the media to uh, the insurance industry, they turn up everywhere. My own past students now work in all kinds of places. Some of them have gone on to careers in uh, universities and, and now work as lecturers in English literature themselves. Uh, others work in publishing and work in education, work in, um, in law, in the media. As Cathy Shaw puts it, um, as a direct result of the diverse curricula of their degrees, English literature graduates are global scholars with global horizons who are flexible and adaptable to the changing context and demands of the modern world. And this makes them enormously attractive to employers. So I think this covers many of the reasons why you might want to study English literature in university. But why might you want to study English literature at Trinity College? I want to present you with a number of reasons why I think uh, you might want to choose English here. In the first place, we are the best school of English in this country. And we have been the highest ranked school indeed in the country for a many, many numbers of years. If you want to study English literature in Ireland, this is the place to come. The School of English in Trinity is one of the oldest in Britain and Ireland. In 1867, it founded the first ever chair of English literature in this country. And the school continues to be a leader, a world leader in the discipline. It's ranked ninth in Europe in the QS World University subject rankings of 2020. Secondly, there is so much choice. English literature students here are spoiled for choice compared to those in lots of other degree subjects. Throughout your degree in English literature, you get lots of choice, increasing an increasing number of options about what modules you could take to the point where in your final two years, uh, almost all the modules are optional modules. Even for those modules which are compulsory in your first two years, uh, there is always the option to choose from different essay questions and different texts that you want to write on. So you can specialize even within modules. So for example, in a module where you might read 10 to 12 texts in the course of the entire term, in your final essays and exams, you'll be able to choose and focus on three or four of those texts um, as the ones that you want to, to, to work, work on. In your final two years, here in Trinity, we offer you a 50, uh, over 50 optional modules to choose from. That's an extraordinary number of, of options for any degree subject. 
The third reason to study English here at Trinity is the breadth. You get to look at over a thousand years of English literature and trace the history of the language from the earliest texts containing English right up to contemporary writing. Most other English degrees in the world don't provide a sense of the history of the language and the literature. And we are one of the few places left that go right back to the beginnings of uh, English literature and have world experts on that earlier period. We also have courses that take students right up to today to living writers and contemporary texts. And we have a variety of creative writing options available for undergraduate students, taught by leading authors, uh, carrying on a tradition of great literature in Trinity. The fourth reason to, to study English at Trinity is the Copyright Library. We're the only copyright library in the country, and that means that any uh, book published in Britain or Ireland must deposit a copy in uh, Trinity College Library. That provides an enormous amount of primary and secondary material for our undergraduate and postgraduate students. And the, 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 the last reason I'm going to mention is, mention is this for, the fact that Trinity has a four-year degree. This is the, the Trinity difference. The BA degrees in English in other Irish universities are three-year degrees, but Trinity's BA is a four-year degree. In that fourth year, you essentially get to move into what are master le master's level assessments. Every year, our degree students are reviewed by external examiners, and every year we're told that these students have reached master's level uh, ability and excellence. You won't get that anywhere else on in any other uh, English literature degree on this island. There's two ways to study English literature at Trinity. You can study the single, go down the single honours route where you study uh, and focus on English only for four years. This gives you a much wider choice of modules within the discipline of English and hence a more intensive study of English literature and probably a more extensive preparation for postgraduate work in English literature as well. Or you can go down the joint honours route where you study English with another subject and you have two disciplines working all at your, through your four years. This is, uh, means that you have not as an extensive uh, choice of modules in your one discipline, but you always have that second discipline to bring um, to complement um, the study of English. Now I just want to briefly talk to you about the kinds of modules that, that you'll, be, you'll be studying in your first uh, couple of years, the fresher years in, uh, in English in Trinity. In the, the first term, or what we call Michaelmas term, in your first year, we introduce you to uh, five modules. Genres is a module that introduces some of the most basic ideas and theories that underpin English literary studies. And it focuses on three major literary genres, uh, the novel, poetry, and drama. In Imagining the Middle Ages, we introduce students to a diverse range and selection of texts from uh, medieval literature, including works by highly influential authors like Chaucer and some less familiar writers, including quite a number of neglected female authors of this period. In Origins of English, uh, we offer an introduction to Old English, a form of English used in England between the 5th and the 11th centuries. Um, and we take you right back then really to the beginnings of uh, the first iterations of the English language. Shakespeare asks, uh, why is William Shakespeare still considered a writer worth studying 400 years after his death? And give you an introduction to a, a quite a broad range of, of, of his work. In Writing Childhoods, um, we explore the multiple ways in which literature has engaged with ideas about childhood and ideas about the child across several centuries and uh, we discuss very popular texts like Alice in Wonderland, um, the Harry Potter novels, uh, The Catcher in the Rye and some other uh, young adult literature. In your second term uh, we focus on um, the literature written in Ireland from the late 19th century up to the present in early modern literature, we uh, provide an introduction to uh, literature written in the 16th and 17th centuries. 
Origins of English 2 takes uh, the history of the language uh, from uh, f f that you began in your first term uh, further. Cultures of Retelling looks at uh, the relationship between literary texts and adaptations, um, looking at, at novels like The Handmaid's Tale or stories like Sherlock Holmes and the novels of Jane Austen and looking at the ways in which we've retold these particular stories um, in different ways and in different forms and in different media. Pulp uh, provides an introduction to genre fiction, um, science fiction, horror fiction, romance fiction, crime fiction. And in your second year we, we extend these, uh, these, uh, this kind of focus so we have period based um, modules taking you through the 18th, 19th and 20th century. We have a contemporary module looking at not just texts that are written now and the last 10 years or so, but the major issues that have um, generated a huge cultural, cultural debate in the contemporary period. We look at um, literature written by uh, those living in countries that were colonized. Um, we look at uh, American literature, we focus on American literature and we provide students with an introduction to the ways, the very many different ways in which literature has been theorized by, um, by, by feminist theory, by Marxist theory, by post-colonial theory, um, by eco-criticism and, and, and think through uh, these theor theories um, as subjects in themselves. And each module is delivered in two ways. The first uh, way is the traditional way of a lecture, uh, where you get uh, all the students in the module together and um, the, the lecturer provides a 50 minute talk on the subject for that week. But then we break you up into small groups of around 15 students and you meet on a weekly basis. Uh, it's there really that the students get to uh, engage to participate and, and, and to provide them their own views on, on the text and the issues. So that's what happens in the first two years and in the final two years our sophister uh, modules are taught through small group teaching as well of approximately 20 students and they are very uh, specialized modules and there's a huge range of them, them running right back to, to Chaucer right up to the contemporary period. Some modules are assessed by an examination, some are assessed by an essay, and some are assessed by other kinds of assessment like portfolios, literature reviews, blogs, etc. And as I said, at the moment in those sophister years, we have approximately 50 to 52 um, modules that students can choose from. And the final point I want to make is about uh, the emphasis in Trinity on creative writing. Several of our sophister option courses are dedicated entirely or at least in part to creative writing. And sophister students also have the opportunity to do a creative capstone or a, a kind of creative dissertation as part of their final year work. And every year um, the TCD, the Trinity Ar and Arts Council Writer Fellow um, this is usually a, a, a well-known writer uh, who lives in Ireland who comes to uh, Trinity to hold a workshop for undergraduate students. So creative writing is growing in importance as, as quite a significant part of our curriculum. And of course we have a, a long history of an association with creative writing going right back to the 18th century um, all the way up to, to the present day. Some of probably the best known writers from Ireland um, working their way through Trinity at some point. So I hope that this short presentation has given you a sense of um, not just English literature as a subject but the ways in which we will teach it if you choose to come and study here. Mm -hmm.